trenches, bits of equipment, clothing, everywhere. Poor fellows shot dead are lying in all directions. We pass through villages that are in a fearful state. Houses are demolished and contents all over the roads. Everywhere, the same hard, grim, pitiless sign of battle and war. I've had a belly full of it. Voices of the Great War emerging from the diaries of those who fought in it. The National Archives have begun putting one and a half million pages of diaries like these online, allowing people to search for the stories of their own relatives. In many cases you do get the ordinary soldier mentioned and of course if you can connect a given individual with a given unit at a given time, the family historian is going to be able to have a, a field day. For the most part these aren't personal diaries, they're the official diaries of the fighting units but still you find in these pages the individual details that bring to life those people who found themselves at war in 1914. Caroline James used the diary of the Ninth Lancers to piece together the story of her great-great-uncle. Charles Hunt was a regular soldier when war broke out, so he was among the first into France, and he was among the first to die. He'd gone over to France, obviously, at the very beginning of the war. Um, unfortunately, died in the ambush within two weeks of being there, um, and was looked after while he was wounded by the local villagers and buried in the local cemetery in Bave. Um, and that's where I'm going to go and visit him on the 100th anniversary of his death. I've never been before, but I think that that's a, a fitting time to go and see where he is. This is a special year for remembering World War I, the diaries, a special way to help us do so. Andy Bell, Five News. <laughs>